creating a torus. So we are going to create a freeform shape, and the shape we're going to create is a torus. So we're going to go up to our 3D model tab. We're going to go into the freeform. We're going to choose the down arrow and choose a torus. So what is a torus? Think of it as an inner tube. So it'll ask us to pick the selected plane that we want to work on. I'll pick my XY plane. Then it'll ask, what do you want for the radius of the inner tube? I'll say, oh, I want, let's go with a 6-inch radius. Oop, now let's go with a 3-inch radius. Let's make a real inner tube. And, um, well, no, let's go with, uh, say, 18 inches as the radius. And the ring, let's go with, um, oh, let's go with uh, 3 inches here. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go with everything being symmetrical. It'll ask me to pick a center point. I'll pick right here. And it will calculate that. And you can see I have an 18 inch radius. All right, 18 inches, 18, so 36 across. And it has a 3 inch ring. Okay. And so I say OK. And boom, I get these little areas that I can manipulate later on. Let's go back and do that again. And I'm going to go and pick my torus. And I'll pick my XY plane. And I'll pick, say, a 10 inch radius. And I'll go with a 3 inch ring. And this time I'll pick a lot more faces like 16 and 12. And you'll see that I get more areas. I'll pick the center of the torus. And now I get more areas to manipulate in my torus. And then I say OK. And remember, this is a heavy computational model here. I have to say finish the free form. And now each one of these areas is manipulated. I can pick on each one of these little areas and I can manipulate that or I can edit those types of things. Uh, we'll learn that later on of how we manipulate those. But uh, you have to kind of pick the right amount of faces that you need. Not too many and uh, not too little. You've got to get right in the you know, Goldilocks zone there.